<laughs> okay, uh, this is my Coney Island opening up day song. Good morning. Coney God Island opens okay. up today. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I got a tambourine here. Anybody play tambourine? In case anybody wants to join me, I got a tambourine. Just can't wait to go on the cyclone. Coney Island opens up today. The summer is coming, so people cruise away. People winning prizes, rides are moving fast. Adrenaline rises, we're having such a blast. Everybody having a good time. We love Coney Island. Eating contest. So, by the way, July 4th, I'll be singing at the hot dog eating contest. And uh, this song is called Hot Dogs, right?
whether you like them on the go. The supper of the luncheon was nothing like the taste of France. They're always good for munching. Hot dogs, hot dogs, watch them eat them up. Hot dogs, hot dogs, it's great big soda pop. Hot dogs, hot dogs, watch them eat them up. So I'm going to go meet the show. Uh, got another polar bear song. All right, polar bear song. This is just called Plain Polar Bear. Okay, um, I even have a song for the aquarium. Wow. I'm gonna do something like this. Uh, 
Coney Island opens up today again. Just so uh, remind everybody that it does. Some people don't even know that Coney Island op opens up today. Coney Island opens up today. The winter is over. It's time for fun and play. All the kids are glad, and us grown ups too. We'll go on all the ride before the day is through. I just can't wait to go on the side. Coney Island opens up today. The summer is coming, so put the food away. People winning prizes, rides are moving fast. Adrenaline rises, we're having such a blast. Everybody's having a good time. We love Coney I'm moving fast, adrenaline rising, we're having such a blast, and everybody's having a good time. We love Coney Island, we love Coney Island, we love Coney Island, where we have the ball. We love Coney Island, we love Coney Island, we love Coney Island, where there's fun to It's almost time to go. It was a pleasure singing for everybody. Enjoy the rest of the day. And I will see you on one of the rides. Thanks, everybody. Amos Crowley comes here every year through thick and thin and does his thing very well, as you heard. Amos Wengler. Amos Wengler, I'm sorry. I don't know where Crowley came from. It's okay. <laughs> Thanks, you, Amos. So, welcome, everybody. Coney Island 2018, here we are. The snow is gone. Oh, no, we have still evidence of the 12 inches that we had here in Coney Island. I can tell you, 12 inches here in Coney Island. We beat everybody. We always do. Good morning, everybody. My name is Dennis Verderis. I'm co-owner of Dino's Wonder Wheel Amusement Park with my brother, Steve, and the rest of the Verderis family, who you'll meet shortly. We're here celebrating the 2018 season of Coney Island. It's been uh, a series of ups and downs this month. Uh, four nor'easters, it's unprecedented. But you know what? Coney Island's resilient. It always bounces back. We made it, we opened up in time, and we have struggled to get through it, believe me, but we did it. And uh, before I lose my train of thought, I just wanted to say thank you for all our elected officials, for all their help, all times of the year. Our local police department, our local fire department, our parks department. We love the 6-0, we love parks, we love everybody here at Coney Island that helps maintain the beach, the boardwalk, and make it safe for the millions and millions of visitors that come here. Uh, before we start, I wanted to present the fire department 
ceremonial unit, which will present the colors and sing our national anthem for today. Ladies and gentlemen, just a solemn note here, I'd like to have a moment of silence, please, for our fallen firefighters of this week. Thank you. It's been a rough week for the uh, FDNY, so they deserve all the uh, support they get from us. And now I want to present Regina Wilson, who will uh, sing the national anthem for us, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Big round of applause. Nice round for those guys and, and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you, Regina, and to the Fire Department Ceremonial Unit for being here today. Um, at this time, I wanted to uh, introduce you all to my nephew, my son, Dino and Dino. DJ and Dino. This is the next generation Darius family, and uh, I'd like them to say a few words. Thank you. Well, I'm proud to stand here on behalf of my family, and I'm humbled to be a part of Coney Island, the wonder and greatness of Coney Island. This iconic place has been sustained by names like Tilyu, Mangles, Ziggin, Zamperla, Albert, Denson, and the heart and soul of Debbie Santiago. Debbie would stand up here year after year and thank my grandfather for his help. Today I'd like to thank you, Debbie. I know you're here with us. Thank you for your compassion and selflessness. Thank you for showing us what a giant looks like. And make no mistake, we didn't get where we are today without standing on the shoulders of giants. I'd also like to thank everyone at EBC and our local officials for turning the phrase, yes, we can revitalize, into yes, we did. Let's keep that ball rolling. Yeah. Yeah. Now, 
It's easy to wake up and see a world fractured by hate and fear. But that isn't true here. In Coney Island, it doesn't matter where we're from, where we pray, or who we love. We are a true melting pot, and all who come to this, the people's playground, are welcome. It is through diversity that we find unity. We are one family, all of us, playing nice in this sandbox we call home. And a house united cannot fall. Now, today's Palm Sunday, but it doesn't matter what day it is, it doesn't matter what any of us believe. Let's all do our best to understand each other, regardless of what we believe. Hate eventually dies. It's love that survives, which is why Coney Island always will thrive. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you on the Wonder Wheel. Beautiful, DJ. I couldn't have said it better myself. You are the best. <laughs> And a nice round for the boys, please, ladies and gentlemen. They really deserve it. They work hard all year long. At this time, I would like to bring up Alexandra Silversmith from the Alliance for Coney Island. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We're having some sun showers, I think, right now, um, but I think it will dissipate, so it's great. So I'm Alexandra Silversmith, and I'm the executive director of the Alliance for Coney Island. Um, we want to welcome you all to Coney Island and are really more than thankful to be standing right where we are right now. As Dennis mentioned, believe it or not, four days ago, the boardwalk was covered in snow. I really didn't think we would be standing here today. Um, so I'm very excited to have you all here and for us to be celebrating the opening of Coney Island. We are so excited to be kicking off this season with you. As you know, today is the official opening of Luna Park and Theo's Wonder Wheel, along with many other businesses in the amusement district. And I want to first give a huge thank you to all of the elected officials and uh, agencies that have joined us today, including Parks Department, Councilmember Mark Traeger, NYPD, and our new Deputy Inspector Hayward, um, Sheila Boyd and Olga Fiore from State Senator Savino's office, Community Board 13, um, and New York City Economic Development Corporation, as well as the Department of Buildings, which does all the inspections, and Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams, who has joined us. Um, every year, Coney Island is growing and expanding, and this year I am very excited to share that we have an addition of a new business, uh, Carl's Jr., as well as the New York Aquarium is opening their new addition, Ocean Wonders, this summer, which you can see right down the boardwalk, glittering in the wind. Um, and so it's a very exciting time. We now will have the two bookends to Coney Island open, which I consider the amphitheater and Ocean Wonders, the aquarium. And that really means that revitalization, as uh, DJ mentioned, is really happening in Coney Island, and it's truly um, beyond exciting time. So I'm excited to share as well that, once again, the Alliance will be bringing back a great slate of free events this year, including Friday Night Fireworks and Fourth of July festivities. And I'm excited also because we are two years from the centennial of the Wonder Wheel. So this year, the Wonder Wheel turns 98, which I think is amazing. I want to give a huge thank you to the Vorderos family for hosting us today and to both their staff and Luna Park staff for working countless hours to get us ready after the snowstorm this past week. So starting today, we invite all New Yorkers and visitors from around the world to join us and enjoy the rides, food, merriment, and fun of Coney Island throughout 2018, and we look forward to seeing you all on the boardwalk. Without further ado, I'd like to call up Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams to say a few words. Doesn't he make us feel warm outside, you know? Boy, oh boy, you know. I think about my first years in policing was here in District 34 as a transit police officer, and people really surrendered and thought Coney Island uh, would never come back, America's playland. We realized with the Alliance and a great council person, council person, Mark Traeger. Let's give it up for Mark, always 
talking about the Coney Island, he was able to get uh, the boardwalk designated as a historical boardwalk. We will now continue to have this great place to ride our bikes, to jog, to meet other Brooklynites. Great place to be. Let's have a great year, safe year. NYPD has continued to make this a great, safe place to raise healthy children and families. Let's have a great year, Alliance for Coney Island. Thank you very much. Next, I would like to call up Councilmember Mark Traeger to say a few words. You know, I was just going to say, with the winter that we had this year, I welcome this balmy 40 degree day. <laughs> Break out the suntan lotion and get it to this young man. <laughs> I, I just, I, I have to say, I want to thank, of course, by the way, let's give it up for, uh, for uh, DJ. That was an amazing speech. We have a future council member in the making there. May or mayor. So I want to, of course, um, thank Dennis Roderis, the entire Dino Wonderwheel family, the entire amusement district, the Alliance. Uh, I want to thank, uh, we heard before, and I appreciate Dennis, the moment of silence for the FDNY. Uh, tragic reminder of the types of threats and dangers they face at any given moment, any day. So our hearts and prayers are with the family of the fallen firefighter. And I also want to give a shout out to the amazing NYPD, our 60th precinct, PSA 1. Yesterday we had a successful, large March for Our Lives rally right here. And they did a great job, and of course our guardian angels as well. Did a great job, let's get up for NYPD, for the work that they did. I want to get up also for CERT, our, our Parks Department, EDC, all of our city partners. Uh, as we've heard from Borough President Adams, who is a big partner in this effort as well, the Wonder Wheel and the Cyclone are going to have to make room for a new family member this year. Because we, thanks to all of you, were successful in convincing the Mayor and the Landmarks Preservation Commission to add the historic Coney Island Boardwalk as a landmark in New York City. And we did it the old-fashioned way, the grassroots way. This will forever be a landmark in New York. This is one of the most, if not the most, resilient neighborhoods that we have here in New York. I think across America, we bounce back time and time again, whether it's natural disaster, uh, whether it's other challenges we face in our community. I am so proud to be a part of this community, to represent this community, and I look forward to an extraordinary, extraordinary, amazing season. The blessing of the rides. Our hearts are also with Pastor Debbie Santiago, who look forward to this event year after year after year, and gave us the official blessing of a safe, joyous, prosperous season. And that's exactly what we're going to do in honor of Pastor Debbie Santiago. Have a wonderful and safe season. Are you ready? Let's open up Coney Island. Thank you so much. Next, I'd like to call up Olga Fiore and Sheila Boyd from State Senator Diane Savino's office. Okay. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, me too. Good morning, 
everybody, and welcome to one of the most exciting days of the year here, the opening of Dina's Wonder World, Luna Park, and the first ride of the Cyclone. It's so great to see everyone here. This is my happy place, born and raised, and I come to the boardwalk all the time, and I look forward to this. So, um, everyone, we look forward to an exciting year here, and you can walk onto the boardwalk, and I see people and family and friends here, so I'm happy about this. And happy Palm Sunday for those of you who observe. Now a few words from Sheila Boyd, my assistant. Good morning, Coney Island. It's been such a long time. I'm really happy to be here this morning. And I thank God for my health. And I'll see you again next year. That's really, thank you. Great. Uh, congratulations, and everyone have a fun, safe summer. Thank you. Okay, and last but not least, before we do the ceremonial ribbon cutting, I'd like to call up Deputy Inspector Hayward, who is our newest... Um, commanding officer here in Coney Island. Hi, thank you. Thank you for the warm welcome since I got here a couple of weeks ago. It's been great. Uh, I look forward to working with uh, Councilman Traeger, Borough President Eric Adams, the same way I did in uh, Bay Ridge. Great guys to work with. Uh, Steve Frolic, the Community Council President. Uh, great, great. I've had a ton of warm welcomes. Uh, I sat down with, with Dennis uh, two years ago when I was the XO here, and I could tell how much love he really has for this community and this boardwalk. I really look forward to working with all of them again this summer. So let's have a great 2018. Thank you. Thank you very much, Inspector. That was great. We, uh, we know you have tough shoes to fill, but I know the ground is, the groundwork has been laid so the streets are paved smoothly for you. You'll have a good summer. You'll be safe. Everybody will be safe and we'll have fun. And uh, God willing, we'll all be here again next year. Um, at this time, we have to do the blessing. So I would like to bring up Toyin, Deacon Toyin from the Salt and Sea Mission. <laughs> The Salt and Sea Mission has been coming here doing our blessings since 1985 or so uh, by Pastor Debbie. Deacon Toyan has uh, assumed the helm there at the mission, so she will do the honors. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. God is good? All the time? Thank you all for joining us this morning. It's an honor to be here on behalf of Salt and Sea Mission to lead the uh, 2034 years annual uh, Blessings of the Ride. It's a great honor to be here. Um, as the book of Galatians 6, 9 says, we do not go weary of doing good because at the proper time, we will all reap the harvest if we do not give up. I am sure that we are all delighted to be here today. Uh, we all know that Dennis family, they have been so wonderful by giving free rights to the people that had less privilege. And may the almighty God continue to bless them. They've been doing wonderful things with uh, Pastor Debbie, founder of Southern Sea Mission, Pastor Debbie Santiago. I know Pastor Debbie is here in spirit, but she's in the better place right now with the Lord. May our soul continue to rest in peace. I give glory, honor, adoration unto the Lord, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. The book of Proverbs 19 verse 17 says, Whoever is generous to lend to the poor, also lend to the Lord. And the Almighty God will reward them bountifully. So, um, Daniel's family, they have put this love into action by doing good deeds to the community. We are so blessed to be here this morning. May the Almighty God continue to bless them and be with them always. With, with this said, I would like to pray. Heavenly Father, 
we come before you this morning, oh Lord, to thank you for all you have been doing in our lives. We give you all the glory, Father. In th this is the day that you have made, Father Lord. Oh Lord, we would never have made it without you, Father. For another blessed Palm Sunday, we thank you, oh Lord, for without you, we are nothing. Everlasting Father, grant us peace and meet us all at the point of our needs. May the Lord grant Broderick's family with favor and may the joy of the Lord continue to fill their hearts with good deeds. I pray that the goodness and mercy of God follow them all the days of their lives. There shall be no evil report concerning this family. We praise you, O Lord, and bless your holy name. Almighty God, cover from Daddy's family with your protection and safety for the children that will be going on the ride. Bless Dino's family spiritually, physically, and emotionally with financially, Father Lord. Continue to provide for all their needs, Father Lord, and protect them always. Father Lord, we say we love you, Lord, and bless all the politicians and everyone that are attending here today, Father Lord. Father, continue to meet everybody's needs according to your riches and glory. Everlasting Father, we need you, for without you we are nothing, Father Lord. Let your kingdom come and let your glory continue to magnify in all the areas of our lives, Father Lord. Let there be peace with everyone here and our family. All this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Happy blessed. Happy Sunday to you all. Thank you. Debbie would be very proud of you today. That was great. Uh, now if I could please get the elected officials and representatives to sort of get behind the um, red ribbon so we can do the ceremony and uh, Alexandra will, will speak um, have the closing statements. Thank you. So thank you everyone. Um, I just want to make a note to press. Once we take this photo, uh, we ask that you meet us at the Cyclone Roller Coaster to check in. That is where we will be doing the ceremonial egg cream christening with Borough President Eric Adams and the other elected officials. So please follow us afterwards to the Cyclone Roller Coaster. And I'd like to again ask all officials and agencies that are here to join us behind the ribbon and Verdera's family that is in the crowd to please also step behind the ribbon. Thank you, everyone. Just a quick shout out to Rosalind Mansour and her family who's here. The lady in the tan coat right there wrote me a letter in the dead of winter. She used to live across the street at Luna Park and uh, many, many years ago and used to stare at the Wonder Wheel all the time. But she had a, a very sweet story to tell us, so we invited her here to be our guest today. Um, my sister Helen is here with her family as well. She hasn't been here in a while, so I just wanted to give my sister a shout out. Thank you, Helen, for coming. Please join us behind the ribbon with the kids and, and George, please, if you're here. Um, and my son and DJ, please, of course, get behind the ribbon. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. Happy summer, everyone.